I am Naina Kaunavatsu. Today we have a very special guest with us. She is Dr. Satyani Vaidya, Head of Mentors, Arka Initiative. Welcome. And uh, first of all, I am going to ask you what's the meaning of this Arka, A R K A? Uh, it's a Sanskrit word. Yes. So it means uh, the enlightenment. So, which we wanted to actually, our founder chose it because uh, that is the purpose of uh, what we are doing. Yeah. So, we cho- we thought this is the best. Uh, yeah. So, what what's, what's the purpose of this organization? What are you promoting? What are you asking us to be enlightened about? <laughs> so, Arka Initiative is about um, giving tangible support uh, mm-hmm. regarding sexual and reproductive health issues to everyone in Sri Lanka. So let's start at the very beginning. What I really want to know is to educate people on what happens to a child, a girl and a boy when she, he and she attain age or we call it puberty but basically attain age. That's number one. What happens to the child and uh, I think physically we know what happens. How does, how, what happens to you mentally and to her and how should we parents um, I think we can uh, categorize it into three, saying that uh, there are physical changes, yes. uh, mental, emotional changes, and social changes. So we all know about the physical changes, right? But emotionally, do you think uh, do you do you think you can easily recognize? Uh, no, I th- I think that's a big uh, problem for us because we don't understand. There is, there are mood changes. And uh, and uh, parents don't understand that, and of course they are in the teenage age, so everything is blamed on the yeah. teen, the age. Yeah. But there's I I think there's a huge issue with the children emotionally, and parents are also suffering in quit where they don't know how to handle. It. Yeah, I think that is the period where they feel uh, very insecure about themselves. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think the uh, very reason is uh, because the, the physical appearance, some things, uh, and you know, when your body is changing, you don't know why it's happening that way. And we are uh, coming uh, from a Sri Lankan, you know, very uh, uh, different, yeah, protective, yeah. and then uh, not so open with the parents about these topics. Uh, we are not very comfortable talking to them about it. So you really want to hang out uh, more with the friends, right? Yeah. Why? Because they are going through the same thing uh, that we are going through. But parents uh, are more likely, they are like saying, uh, they are upset, yeah. they are really upset about it. So I think parents, the first thing they have to understand is that uh, that's how it is. I mean, uh, constant uh, behavior, I mean, they will come out of it. Yeah. Yeah, but then you have to be supportive, not uh, be nosy about it. Uh, yeah, so, uh, I would say the Sri Lanka parents, uh, they can be very uh, understanding about the whole situation and... Uh, uh, Doctor, I have heard that boys especially, when they are in age, they want to sleep a lot. Isn't that true? Uh, uh, more than normal, they feel lazy and yeah, want to sleep yeah, a lot. Yeah. So, this is a major problem with the parents. Why are you lazy? Get up, get up. Uh, so I think that's also an issue. Yeah, that is, I think, not just connected to uh, the, the physical uh, side of it, but I think there's a emotional, emotional part yeah. of it as well. Because say that uh, you're at home and you have no one to talk to, and absolutely nothing to do, so yeah, you like to be so, in your room. So right? how, how should we, how should we, as parents, how should we talk to them, like how? I just think, to be I mean, open about it be very open about it and I think be cool about it, you know, mm-hmm. oh, why are you like this, you know, mm-hmm. what is it, uh, it's better, like, you know, I do great conversation with someone else where they hear it, uh, right, say, yeah, yeah. Uh, say we, are, we are two uh, friends, we are mothers, yeah. but uh, if my son or daughter is somewhere there, we, have, we talk we loudly, talk loudly for so that they can hear, yeah, yeah. and then they will also uh, know, oh, my mother is a very cool person, she uh-huh. can really understand that. You can take like small steps to uh, change uh, how they look at you. Do we have any material like books or anything, not internet, yeah. but like, things that parents can also share and read or something like that? Yeah, definitely. 
But how they uh, worry about it is different. So the guys they might be, the boys they might be thinking about their height, and uh, if they like you know smaller in size, they worry about, about it. it. And for girls definitely, I mean the uh, the uh, breasts and the hips yeah. being so wide, they'll not like it. Some might like it. Yeah. Some might compare it. Oh, her, she has uh, bigger breasts yeah, than me. Then, Mine is smaller. Mm -hmm. Or yes. Oh, she has uh, smaller breasts, uh, I have bigger breasts, so uh, I don't like it. What would someone think about me? Those are the typical, typical type of uh, question, questions. Yeah, problems yeah. that they face. So, should the parents handle this direct, talk openly? That actually depends on your child, I would say. Because some children, they don't really like the parents getting involved at all. But for some, it's okay. So, you have to first know your child. And depending on that, I think you should approach them. Uh, if they are okay with you being uh, directly approaching them, then it's okay. Okay, then also at what age does the feelings toward the opposite sex develop? Like when you are 12 years or so, like when the puberty hits, yeah. uh, you so, get to is, attend Isn't to. it a concern for the child? Yes, definitely. definitely. And now, you know, things have been uh, different. Uh, much different to what we grew up with because now the children come to us and they are like I'm actually questioning my sexuality then I ask them what is your problem so they say I don't know if I like a girl or a boy because those days we do I mean I knew that okay with time I will like a boy oh, yeah. but now there's a question of yeah. uh, like even 12 years they are like, I'm, I'm curious about my sexuality, I don't know, I'm just trying to identify because maybe I like boys, maybe like, I like girls or maybe I like boys. Mm. So those are the different type of... Okay, um, now at what age do you really understand this? I, I would say after 16 because after when 16. you actually speak to everyone who came out, uh, they said uh, it's definitely after, you know, 17 or 18 years that they clearly understood what they want in life. Mm -hmm. So until then they were sort of, they have been experimenting or you know, observing themselves mm -hmm. and after 18 years uh, they usually go. You know, keeping your emotions, your feelings and your decisions to yourself is not going to help you, right? Talking to your friends is good, but also talking to your parents will give you a clear idea because they know something more than us, at least one more thing more than us. So uh, being, uh, I mean, I know it's not an easy thing to just go approach your parents and talk to them about anything. So just gradually do it. So to the parents, so that's the biggest uh, yeah. hurt like yeah. it, yes, I think. To lots the parents, of parents, I think I, I should uh, advise uh, just try to just uh, try to understand your child first and uh, the needs because. Uh, some children, they want the parents to advise them, some they don't like it. So depending on your child and uh, their needs, I think you have to uh, act uh, accordingly. Don't you, don't you think that the parents should, whichever way they possible, be truthful and be open? Because some people can't, some people can, but uh, avoiding it, hiding it, telling a lie. All that will not help because the child will turn away from you. So uh, the best thing a parent could do is accepting your child, right? Whatever he or she is, they are to learn to accept it. So by accepting the child, I mean the, 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 the complexity of this whole problem will be uh, lesser. lesser. Uh, and also the other thing is there are phases in life. So none of these phases are going to last forever. So just, you know... Be cool with it. There's a phase, yes. Yeah, there's a phase. Yeah, so they, they might sleep, they might ignore you, but 
definitely there will be a time that they will need you and they will come to you. So. Okay, I think I got a very clear understanding of what uh, needs to be done. So first of all, the children uh, should be open-minded as much as possible. So I think parents have a bigger responsibility. Uh, they should understand the situation. Uh, the emotional changes of the child and let the child be as much as possible but at the same time be open and talk to him if you can more as a friend I would say yes. and uh, don't get uh, uh, shy about these yeah, things yeah. that is all right. the taboo topics yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and the third most important thing is that uh, this is a very short space, it will change of course. But the thing is doctor, it will change to a bigger problem. Yeah. So yeah. which is what we are going to talk about in the next episode. So thank you very much for being here. It's a lot of information. Thank you. Thank you for having me.